And to me, that seems to be what um, President Millet is trying to do in Argentina as well, to delete what's not absolutely essential to leave space for yeah. creativity and, and entrepreneurship. You've met him repeatedly, you've seen what's going on in Argentina. Do you have any thoughts about that, his ambitions, how important it is for Argentina and possibly for the rest of the world with the case right here, right now? I think it is very important that Argentina succeed and that we give President Millet our full support. I, th I think this... <laughs> yeah. and, and my prediction is that in, unless uh, President Malay is, is stopped in some way from taking the actions that he wants to take, that Argentina will have a massive growth in the economy and there will be far more prosperity and, and optimism about the future than there ever ha there has been perhaps in a hundred years. Yeah. And in, in just 10 minutes, Millet will uh, we'll talk about those things from this uh, stage. Uh, would you be able to give him some advice if he wants to turn Argentina into an innovation and entrepreneurship nation again? What, how should he go about it? From everything I've read, he's, he's making all the right moves. I would just encourage the people of Argentina to give him their full support, run this experiment, because clearly the policies of the past have, have not succeeded. We know that for a fact. So let us, let us, I think, go boldly into the future. I hope the people of Argentina give him their full support, uh, and, and I think it'll be a very exciting adventure, and I think it's going to work out really well.